Good day, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Marshall Community Services News. My name is Doug Goodman, and for the next 20 minutes to maybe 30 minutes, we're going to provide you with an opportunity to visit our Marshall Aquatic Center. With me is our wonderful Marshall Aquatic Center supervisor, person in charge, the leader of the pack, Ms. Ashley Schatzko. Welcome, Ashley. Hello, everybody. We're so happy to have you and excited for you to see the pool if you've never been before. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to we're starting actually out in front of the Marshall Aquatic Center, which is located at Legion Field. And as we do each and every month and every year, we try to make a stop here at Marshall Aquatic Center. And again, uh, we're going to provide you with some hours, some information, and of course, as the summer goes on, you're going to have an opportunity to come out. There's special events, there's kids' night, family nights, a lot of different things that we hope this show will bring you up to date on what's happening out here. And of course, you can always call the Marshall Community Services Office, which that number is 537-6767. So with that, we're going to get going right away. And I should mention, we have our Marshall Community Services brochure available to everyone. It's online, and actually there's four pages of Marshall Aquatic Center uh, information uh, different things like swimming lessons we'll talk about, some of the uh, many amenities that we have out here at the Aquatic Center. And with that, um, Ashley, we opened on what day? We opened on June 3rd this year. It was a Saturday. And we had a sneak peek for summer on June 2nd as a surprise for the community. Well, and I know it was a wonderful surprise because it was the day after school let out. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that's really phenomenal this year it's been really busy, hasn't it? Oh, it has. That's it probably has. due to the 85 to 90 degree temperatures that's been happening since June 3rd, correct? Right, that's true. How's the staff doing? You got a new staff this year? We have some new staff and a lot of returning people who are very experienced and know what they're doing. So we're slowly phasing in our new people and giving them a chance to work some more hours. And so you might see some new faces at the pool this year. That sounds good. And I know about a half an hour ago, you were doing a drill called EPs. Yes. What's EP stand for? Emergency procedures and of for course, our lifeguards. At any pool, EPs are completely and almost instrumental necessary because you never know as a lifeguard when something is going to happen. And we've been very blessed. We haven't had a major tragedy here uh, in a long time, so we hope that this doesn't happen this summer. But your staff is ready to go. I think they're prepared, yes. Sounds great. Now, we opened uh, in June. Our season goes all the way to the end of August. And again, with this three-pool facility here, um, some work was done this spring. New diving boards? Brand new diving boards, yeah. How's that gone over so far? Uh, well, they're all working perfectly so far, Doug. Well, and I know that, you know, this aquatic center is kind of different than other community pools because we have a three-meter board, Yeah. which I know that a lot of pools took out the three-meter boards. We still have two one-meter boards and a three-meter, so that kind of brings in those teenagers, doesn't it? It does. We get a lot of people who like to do some pretty neat tricks off the diving boards. Sounds yeah. great. Now, uh, if you would, uh, and I, I believe the guys that are shooting uh, Ryan and Alex have already maybe got a, a photo of or a, a little um, picture of our hours, but would you share the hours with the, our viewers? Well, we can move right over here to our hours sign outside our building. Um, it says our open swim hours on here Monday through Saturday are 12 to 6.50, and that's correct. Um, Sunday it's 12 to 550 and that's because on Sunday we have family swim at night and family swim is a really a great opportunity for the families in town who want to just come and see other families at the pool there's there's less kids running all over the place we also put up our big inflatable slide for family night and allow life jackets and other floaties and toys in the pool as well on Monday night from 7 to 9 p.m. we offer youth night for fourth through eighth graders of the community and we hold games and different, we have prizes and different activities, trivia questions. Um, a lot of the kids like to come out and have fun at that one. Waiting pool hours in the morning are from 10.30 to 11.50 a.m. in the morning and right now we have waiting pool going on. That's more for our little swimmers who want to get some swimming done before nap time. Well and that's wonderful because I know many years ago the everything opened at noon and now with the waiting pool being available in the mornings that gives our daycares and the moms that want to give those kids who normally take a nap after 
12 o'clock or yeah. 1 o'clock, they're able to come out and enjoy the, uh, the wading pool or the kiddie pool, as we call it. Yes. The other thing I want to mention, as we look at family swim night, are there some stipulations regarding what constitutes a family? Um, no, we're pretty lenient on that. If you want to bring your friends of your children, that's fine. We just ask that all kids who come be with a designated adult to keep track of them and watch them throughout the night. And again, a big kind of special thing is being able to bring in um, inflatables, right? Right, that's true. I know true. that's very popular from the big things to the little things you wrap around, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, so we had some pretty fun inflatables out this Sunday. That sounds great. Now, uh, and of course, these are all the regular hours, but they are, as this one says, operating hours may vary due to inclement weather. What are the uh, stipulations regarding weather factors? Um, well, the Marshall Aquatic Center tries to stay open as much as possible. If it's a chilly day and there's less people here at the pool, then we'll close due to the number of lifeguards we have and it costs too much to stay open. But as far as storms, if we see lightning, we call it good. But if we hear thunder, we'll close the pool for 30 minutes. And if we don't hear any more thunder during that 30 minutes, then we can reopen for the public to swim once again. Otherwise, we may have to close for the day. Or if it's in the morning that we have a storm, sometimes we'll announce on Marshall Radio or our Facebook page, Marshall Aquatic Center, that we will be opening later for the day. So you can keep an eye on that there. Sounds good. So. Um, with that being said now, um, also we have cold days. Yes. And there's a temperature that you go by in terms of opening or closing. What is that temperature? 65 degrees. It has to be above 65 degrees to let swimmers in the water. And that's a temperature that, of course, people say, well, it's only 63 or 60. What temperature? Do you go by one that's on site right here? Is that the, the deciding thermometer? Oh yeah, yeah, we have thermometers on site, but if you check your phones, the phones are pretty accurate as well, so. All right, sounds good. And again, this is the entrance to the Marshall Aquatic Center here at Legion Field. There's a huge parking lot, uh, lots of parking for everybody that wants to come out. And of course, we're gonna actually uh, take a short cut now from this show. We're gonna move inside, actually over to my left as you go down this ramp uh, is our, our major concession stand, which has a wide variety of uh, assortments of candy, novelties, ice cream, uh, something to drink. What's the most popular thing that the kids really go for? We had this question the other day actually and it's very specific. Mystery Airheads are our most popular concession stand item. Mystery Airheads. Okay, yeah. I, I won't even ask you what they are but if they're popular great <laughs> and I'm sure uh, uh, the other things you have ice cream different things to keep yes. the cool or the kids cool and of course a great place out here in front of the building uh, where there's tables uh, receptacles you're somewhat in the shades lots of bike racks and again wonderful parking as as uh, the parents the kids everyone comes to enjoy the aquatic center this summer 2017 so with that um, we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna um, Begin shooting again back in the pool. I don't know if we're going to get a shot from the top of the slide, but that slide's pretty popular, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, she says, because mm -hmm. the, I know you really have to watch the kids because there's a timing pattern. You can't go down too quickly as the previous one before that. So lots of, uh, lots of rules and things. And, of course, you got to have rules at a pool. Yes. And I just noticed over to our left, they are posted. I know that your staff is well versed on what kids can and can't do, like the old thing, can't hang on the ropes, different things like that. So again, uh, this is your, how many years at the Aquatic Center? This is my fifth year at the Aquatic your Center. Your fifth year? Yes. So it's so wonderful to have a veteran staff. How many lifeguards do you actually have? We have 24 this year on 24. staff. 24. Yep. Plus a whole concession stand staff, plus a whole front desk staff. Mm -hmm. And of course, right behind these doors, which open at noon, you can actually buy your family season passes, individual passes, daily passes, right here at the Aquatic Center, correct? So that's right. Can you still buy them up at the Marshall Community Services set, uh, Office? Um, I believe you can. You can also go online to the Marshall Community Services website and find an application there. Okay. And I know a few years ago, um, some photos of families were brought in where you get your picture taken, so your front desk staff can identify who these kids are just by looking at their pictures, right? Yep, when you purchase a family pass, we'll take pictures for the family and get them in the system as well. Sounds great. Okay, we'll be right back inside the Marshall Aquatic Center and you'll get a chance to see this wonderful complex where kids are having fun almost as we speak. 
Um, and of course, today, again, it's going to be 8590. This is going to get busy pretty soon, isn't it? That's true. All right, we're back. And with me once again is Ashley Schatzko, our Marshall Aquatic Center supervisor, the person in charge for this summer, 2017, here at the Marshall Aquatic Center located at Legion Field. And of course, now we're inside and you're gonna get a chance to kind of see all of the various pool um, depths and different things. I know we have a water slide, we have diving boards, we have lots of umbrellas, lots of lawn chairs, if you wanna call, what are they called? Loungers. 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 They get used a lot, I'll bet. Yes, they do. All right, sounds good. And we're gonna actually touch base on maybe something new this summer. Uh, behind us is what we would call a window covering mural kind of thing, which I know just went up yesterday, but wonder, what a wonderful uh, display of, uh, again, swimming. And that's what everybody wants to do in the summertime. So as we roll around, I know you see that uh, our, our guards are getting ready. They open in about uh, oh, 40 minutes and our locker rooms are available. Um, I know Ryan is kind of shooting some of our folks uh, already over at the baby pool. Uh, but uh, again, uh, this is a wonderful facility. I know our park maintenance staff has worked very hard to get it ready. Um, let me ask you this, and people always ask, what is the temperature of the water? The water should be 80 degrees on any given day. And when you get in the water, it won't feel like an 80 degree day outside. But we do heat our pool. And that's good to know because people say, oh, my little ones are shaking, they're turning blue. But with 80 degree water, mm -hmm. 90 degree temperatures, it does feel a little cold, but again, the place to be is in the water. Right. Sounds good. So, you know, with that being said, um, this is also the place where we do Red Cross Learn to Swim lessons. Um, Absolutely. Can you share with me a little bit about the opportunities for swim lessons? And I know we start pretty much with school age. We do private lessons, but if you would, share some of that information. I believe that we start at five years old for swimming lessons in level one, and we go all the way up to level six. And you can do those at any age ranges across the years. Um, kids are allowed to take their time to pass through the levels. But we recommend that they take all the levels to make sure that they're ready for any situation that they could find themselves in out on the lake or in a pool somewhere not guarded by lifeguards. Um, but we do swimming lessons right here in the mornings. We have three two-week sessions in the mornings and we do all six levels during those sessions and it gets a little bit busy out here. Oh I'm sure and I, I seem to recall and Cam Bailey is actually our Marshall uh, Community Services uh, Aquatics Director if you want to call him that but I know he's worked very hard to offer swimming lessons whenever we can work them into the pool schedule. But um, one of the things that uh, you know I want to ask you about, and a lot of people ask about, are uh, private swimming lessons, which we know that in Minnesota, the land of 10,000 lakes, you better know how to swim, right? Right. And this is the place to do it. So with that being said, um, all of your instructors teach swimming lessons? Uh, not all of our lifeguards teach swimming lessons. We train lifeguards specifically to be teachers. Okay. And so we make sure they're prepared and ready to teach your kids what they need to know. And I want to say, but I'm not sure on this, I think this pool actually had Red Cross swimming lessons last year for about 300 kids. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Which is a lot, but again, um, there are American Red Cross lessons where the kids have different levels, level one through level six, I believe. Yep. And so there's your opportunity to get that done. They last a couple weeks. Two weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. And again, the rates are very reasonable. Uh, I believe, do you know the first swimming lesson? I don't know. Uh, I think they're like $35 or something like that. Uh, there are 50 minute lessons, uh, which are, uh, um, pretty much a standard for level one through sixes, school age children. So we're excited about that. And there are swimming lessons offered June, July, and August. So even if you can't get into the June session, try the July session or try the August session. That's and again, fun. in our brochure on page seven are all the skills. Let's say that's the first time we're gonna, we're gonna send our six year olds to swimming lessons. There are a number of skills and the levels explained in the brochure so if you're a five-year-old you know to pass level one you need to do this 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 and this that's correct and i know level one people always think oh level one's pretty easy but 
sometimes it takes a while to get the kids through level one. You don't always pass the first time you take level one. It takes a while to build the confidence in the water for some kids. Well, and I was one of those kids when I was little. I wasn't real confident in the water. Uh, it took me a lot of years to do it, but yeah. it is something, again, that we encourage all families, all parents to send their kids to swimming lessons, and this is the ideal place to have that happen. Right. Sounds good. Now, another question that always pops up is, this is a wonderful facility. Is this pool available for rent? for pool parties and things like that. Birthday parties are always popular. Do we, do we offer that out to the community? Yes, we do. We offer one to two hour pool rentals in the evenings after we close for the night at seven, most evenings, or else we can also offer them in the mornings from 10 to noon. Sounds good, and you can rent the kiddie pool. If it's just the kiddie pool, you can rent the main pool, plus the diving, wool, uh, diving well, or both pools. And right. there also is, of course, access to the concession stand if a party wants to do that. Right. So, if I'm interested in hosting a birthday party, do I come see you? You can come see me at the pool or you can call Marshall Community Services and talk to Danielle at the front desk and she can set one up for you there as well. Sounds good. And, you know, we previously mentioned about life jackets and flotation devices. Um, during open swim, those are not allowed. It's just during family time, correct? Correct. We only allow life jackets down the slide with an adult for the children during open swim hours. Okay, sounds good. So, there is a couple of phones here, but we do not release that number. That's actually a non-listed number. Um, is there a reason for that? If you need to call or contact the Marshall Aquatic Center, you can call Marshall Community Services and they will put you through to our front desk here. Yeah, and a lot of times it's to page a child, whatever, but we have to control that so kids aren't hanging on the phone out here calling their friends and so on and so on. And uh, otherwise, we'd be answering the phones all day, wouldn't we? Oh, yes. That sounds good. So with that, um, again, uh, our concession stand is located over on the west side. We've got some little tikers coming in right now. Actually, I think they're done. Must be a preschool that uh, they look all tired out. Yeah, the pool does that pretty well. Yeah, for sure. So if you've got some energy to burn, bring the kids. Um, moms, dads, get one of those family passes. Um, I believe those are uh, uh, for a family of two to three. It's $100 for three months. Uh, if it's a family of four, it goes up 10 bucks, so it's 110 And a family of five or more, including dad, whatever, how many in your family, it's $120 for the entire summer. So what a great deal. A daily pass is? $5 for an admission to the whole pool and $3 if you just want to observe or use the kiddie pool. Yes, that's wonderful. And of course, family night has a special rate too, isn't it? Like $3 a family member? Yep, you can get in for $3 on family night and youth night. Or if you were there earlier in the day or have a season pass, you can also use that to get in. Sounds good. And adjacent over here on our left, of course, is our Boards and Blades Skate Park. There's some playground equipment for the kids. They want to take a break. They can go over and play on the playground equipment. Uh, we do have handicapped accessible access with a lift um, that we uh, it's kind of portable that we put in the corner and you can get down there. And of course, uh, it is zoned off where our water slide, which it's 190 feet from top to bottom. And you don't have to be too close in the summertime to hear the yells of joy and the happy screams as uh, they enjoy that 190-foot um, water slide. Of course, our diving well is located over there, um, right here at American Legion Field, where um, it's just a fun place to be this summer, isn't it? Yes, it is. And you've been here five summers, so congratulations to you, and thank you so much. I mean, people don't realize all the responsibilities that go along with operating an aquatic center when you've got 200 kids in the water. Your lifeguards really need to be on top of it. And they've all That's been good. trained. Yeah. Um, you have those EPs, they've all been trained in CPR. Um, first aid. First aid, all of that good stuff. And we, we know that that's just kind of part of an inevitable when you operate this. And of course you do the rules with no diving in certain places, no running, all of that stuff, which again is posted over here uh, on my right, where again, we try to keep the kids as educated as possible on what they can and can't do. So. With that being said, again, uh, we we'll go all the way to uh, um, August. There are a couple of special events. I see that on crazy days you're doing something, right? 
Yes, we have free admission, admission to the pool every year on crazy days, and usually we have some games out and some fun activities for the kids to participate in as well. Sounds great. So with that being said, um, again, I encourage you to check out our Aquatics Facebook. Yes. You just go under Marshall Aquatic Center? Yep, Marshall Aquatic Center on Facebook. And I know you continually update that with different events that are happening throughout the summer. I know there's maybe a Coke event scheduled for sometime later this month. We'll release that information on Facebook and, of course, through our newspaper press releases. Uh, social media is a way we connect with a lot of families now, and it seems to work out very well. So that's exciting. I know that uh, um, we get towards the end of August. Um, there are some possibly more free days as school doesn't start till after Labor Day um, again this summer. So we try to stay open all the way to that last week of August. That's right. Okay, so with that being said, is there anything, Ashley, that we've missed? I don't think so. I think we covered everything. How about, I, I see one more thing on page six, competitive diving camp. What's that all about? Um, that is hosted by the Marshall High School's diving coach. And she just does some basic dives off of the boards and teaches them the basics of different maneuvers on the boards. So if your child is interested in diving in high school or maybe in the future, or just learning some neat tricks to show off at the pool, it's a cool opportunity for them to just learn and develop new skills. Sounds good. The other thing that I think pops up a little bit, and, and we'll kind of keep this towards the end, but um, People ask about little, little kids in diapers. What's the, do you have a plan for that process? Because I know accidents happen. That's correct. Um, little kids, all, all non-potty trained little swimmers need to wear an approved swim pant pull-up. You can get them at Walmart or anywhere. We also sell reusable ones for $8 at the front desk if you left yours at home. Um, but. If there happens to be an accident in the pool and a child was not wearing an approved swim pant, the parents would be liable. Otherwise, the Marshall Aquatic Center will take care of any issues that arise. Sounds good. I know your staff does a great job of, of, of taking care of that. Uh, it's really a team, a team effort out here because with all of these people that come to the Aquatic Center, your staff needs to be on their toes all the time. And you keep them they that do. way, right? I hope so. You hope so. And of course, you have uh, an assistant manager that when you get a day off, who's that person? Kelsey Apple is our assistant manager this year. And Ka uh, Kelsey has been with our staff for a couple, three years? I think this is her fourth year with us. Her fourth year. So yes. it's always wonderful to have veterans. You always have veteran lifeguards come back, um, but you always have some new people you bring in. So that consistency, uh, that top quality service is a priority. And I know you guys do a great job with that. We do our best. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna ask Ashley once again to share with our viewers, if they have questions about the pool, the Aquatic Center, whether it be hours, whether it be lessons, what do they do? Who do they call? Is there a number? Yes, again, you can call Marshall Community Services and if they don't have the answer, they'll page you down to us. Otherwise, you can ask us right on our Facebook page and we try and respond as soon as we can to those questions. And of course, it's important to note that that all-important number, 507-537-6767, that's the Marshall Community Services Office located at 344 West Main, that's City Hall, uh, right downtown in the heart of Marshall, just immediately across Main Street from the Thrifty White Drugstore. We're on the second floor. Office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30. So if you do have any questions during that time, or you also can pick up one of our brochures, and these are available at a number of different locations throughout the community and it lists everything uh, including the Marshall Aquatic Center information and all the other programs whether it be recreation, youth sports, adult sports, our Talents Academy program, other different offers, uh, offerings throughout the community, youth baseball, youth softball, uh, every sport you can think of I believe is in this brochure and again if you have any questions want to sign up you can also sign up online 24 hours a day by contacting Marshall Community Services at ci.marshall.mn.us. Um, we can take care of you there uh, 24 hours a day. You can register, get enrolled in our registration program, and you can register at 2 o'clock in the morning if you want for some of these programs. So we're excited about that. And of course, you can register over the phone by giving us a call uh, with your Visa, MasterCard, or Discover card, and we'll get that family pass to you, get you set to go with all of your family needs, all of the wonderful things you'd like to do this summer here in Marshall. Along with our visitors, I know we do get a lot of people 
that come to town visiting other relatives for an event and they stop out at the Marshall Aquatic Center just to cool off and what a great place to do that. So with that, Ashley, you want to say hi or bye to anyone, family members, little brothers, anything like that? Oh yeah. Hi mom, dad, and my two little brothers Evan and Titus. And I hope to see all of you at the pool today at noon. Sounds great. And that about wraps up our show. I want to thank Ashley Shotsko for being our guest, our special guest here on this Marshall Aquatic Center edition for our Marshall Community Services June event. And again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more exciting action out of Marshall Community Services News. Thank you very much and have a great June 2017.